Mina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. You go into the book of Ruth tonight, and I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of happy to be out of the book of Judges. The last, what was it, five chapters? It's just sin on top of sin on top of sin on top of sin, and it was getting a little bit depressing. Um, because justice wasn't done, things weren't set right. And here's a cool story in verse 1, chapter 1 of the book of Ruth. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled. I'm just going to stop right there. This is during the time of the judges. We have a cool, nice little story in the middle of these times of judges. You read the first chapter, and it's talking about a woman named Naomi. And she was an Ephrathite from Bethlehem, Judah. That's found in verse 2. And because there was a famine in the land, they ended up, her and her husband, ended up moving to Moab. So she had two sons, and they ended up taking Moabites as wives. Now, that's a bad thing. They shouldn't have taken foreigners as wives. Well, let's keep going with the story. Eventually, her two sons, uh, verse 5, Malon and Chilion, they died. And this is after her husband died, so she unfortunately uh, saw both her husband and her children die before her. So her two daughters-in-law, who were Moabites, and their names were... Orpah and Ruth. She told them, return to your, return to your land, um, return to your mother's house, the Lord deal kindly with you, as you, have dealt, as you have dealt with the dead and with me. The Lord grant that you may find rest, each in the house of her husband. And they go on to be like, no, no, we want to stay with you. And then she's like, I, even if I was to find a husband and get pregnant tonight, would you wait for the children to grow up? Would you wait for me to give you husbands? Essentially, it's like you're young women, you're of marriageable age, I'm an old woman, not really have a high chance of getting married at this point. You two go ahead, live happy lives. Um, go back, go back to your people, and continue on with your life. Um, verse 14, then they lifted up their voices and wept again. They loved, they loved their mother-in-law. And Orpah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her, and she said, look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her gods. Return after your sister-in-law. Um, strike two on her. She shouldn't encourage her, her um, daughters-in-law to go back to their native gods. Um, bad move. There's only one god. Um, his name, we know it as Jesus. Back then they knew it as Yahweh. So strike number two against Naomi. And then verse 16, kind of the highlight of chapter 1. But Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you, or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, in other words, kill me, if anything but death parts you and me. When she saw that she was determined to go with her, she stopped speaking to her. To have a passion to do what you're going to do, and I will say to follow the Lord, regardless of even if one of his servants are telling you, yeah, you really don't need to worry about this or, you know, worry about following or pursuing him that hard. A heart that is determined regardless, that some of the Lord will bless, as we'll see in the next few chapters. For those of you who know the story, you already know what's going to happen. For those of you who don't, I'm not going to spoil it here. I'm going to leave it. But Ruth ends up becoming a very blessed Moabite. And if you go back into Genesis chapter, I want to say 19, it was after Sodom and Gomorrah are destroyed, you find out that Moab is the, the like they are, they are Moabites. They were descended from a man named Moab. And Moab was the son born by Lot and one of his daughters, a child of incest. So, I mean, there's, there's still a lot of bad here, a lot of bad stuff. Um, Ruth is the descendant of the result of incest. Naomi allowed, and her husband allowed, their sons to marry foreigners who were not followers of the one true God. That shouldn't have been done. She then encouraged them to go back to their people and their gods. Strike two. So we have three strikes against Ruth, and Ruth is like, I refuse to be out. I'm going to follow you, and I'm going to follow your God. And she will be blessed for it, as we'll see in the upcoming chapters. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.